Alan, how are you today? I'm fine, uh, John. Thank you very much. Today, I'd like to ask you a question regarding EB-5. Thank you. EB-5, I believe, is an uh, investment visa for the U.S.? Yes, it is. Okay. Can you explain what it is in more detail, please? Yes. It allows investors to obtain permanent residence in the United States by a specific amount of investment. Uh, at first, uh, the, uh, when, if and when it's approved, the approval is for two years. It like, gives you a temporary green card. And then before uh, the end of the two years, you apply to change it to a permanent green card, uh, if I can explain from the beginning. Um, the investment, uh, the law requires an investment of either 500,000 U.S. dollars or 1 million U.S. dollars, depending upon whether uh, the investment is in an economically depressed area. If it's in an economically depressed area, it calls only for an investment of 500,000 U.S. dollars in a new uh, in a new company that will create jobs, five new jobs for American citizens or for green card holders. If the investment is for one million dollars, it requires a million dollar investment in a new company that will create jobs for ten new workers. Okay. And uh, there are two ways in which the investment can be. Uh, manage uh, the investor can uh, open his his or her own company, or the investor can place money in what's called a regional center. A regional center is a program, a center that has already is, uh, received uh, uh, permission from the American government to accept investments, and the investment of either five hundred thousand or one million dollars is given to the regional center, and the regional center have sort of been pre-screened by the government for reliability and for honesty. Uh, the uh, green card includes uh, the, the investor himself, uh, the person's husband or wife, and the person's children under the age of 21. I see. On, on the investment, uh, in, was it business center you mentioned? A uh, regional center. A uh, regional center, okay. Uh, those regional center, is it like $10 million or $100 million? Or uh, is it th these are regional centers that, that are building projects. For example, uh, office space, uh, housing, uh, contract uh, to uh, provide office space for the U.S. military, a ski resort, uh, anything, any project uh, that has received the prior approval of the American government. And there are about 130 or 140 regional centers in the United States that have already received permission by the government to accept investments. Um, loosely, perhaps nine or ten are very active, and uh, much of the uh, uh, investment goes into one of the nine or ten uh, regional centers. I see. And uh, so, um, on the regional center, you can expect that the mo there will be more than one investors. Uh, yes. What it is, is uh, you're not in control of your money in the regional center. You give it to the regional center. It's for people who do not want to manage their own business. They become limited partners. For example, if you open your own business, it's your own business. You can do what you want. Uh, but you have to worry about opening the business, buying property, leasing property, hiring people. If you give money to a regional center, it's only giving money to them. You don't, you don't become involved in the operation of the business just, uh, yourself. I see. It's a regional center. Is that uh, uh, they have a lot of project or this is pretty much regional center is one project? Uh, they have several projects at a time. Okay. Uh, and uh, it, when one project has, uh, reaches the required number of investors, then it's closed and they open up another project. I see. And uh, usually uh, the success rate is very high. Uh, for the regional centers. Uh, there are two points which the investor must be concerned. Obviously, the investor wants to get a green card, but he doesn't want to lose his money. So he wants to pick a regional center that has a good track record in the past and that is likely to have a good record in the future. Um, it, 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 most of the regional centers that are that are uh, have uh, involved in the programs have a success rate of very high, almost 100 percent, for the temporary green card for the conditional green card. But you have to apply for uh, uh, for the permanent green card after two years. And it's at that time when there's always a risk, no matter at the beginning or the end, but at that time it becomes a bit more risky. Uh, but uh, some people uh, have received all their money back and have received uh, uh, an addition to their investment. Uh, there's been no few cases that I can think of where there have been yet an, out, an outright denial. Now to protect the investor, there are various firms 
that have developed uh, forensic economists, uh, analyzers who will analyze the particular project and for a fee uh, they'll charge the investor a fee to analyze the particular regional center and the particular project of the regional center. Uh, for example, if somebody comes to me and say, can you recommend a regional center? I'm a lawyer. I'm not a businessman. I don't do that. Uh, uh, I will usually give them the name of oh, eight or ten regional centers that have a good reputation. Uh, I'll give them the names of perhaps three or four that I'm personally familiar with, but I cannot recommend one because, I'm, once again, I'm not an economist. I encourage them to do their own due diligence investigation. I encourage them to uh, do their own investigation completely, and if they're still not certain, uh, I can refer them to a, an economist who will give a, an appraisal, an evaluation of two or three regional centers. Okay. The likelihood of achieving success and the reputation of the regional center. Are they located uh, in California or they are? All over the country. All over the it country. It doesn't make any difference where you want to live if you invest in a regional center. The regional center could be located in Vermont or New Hampshire or Georgia, and the person might want to live in California. It makes no difference because he's not managing the regional center. He's simply a limited partner. I see. And the return of investment across... I mean, of course, it depends on each project. But uh, have you seen any business center? I mean, regional center that give a certain return of investment? Uh, that depends because the return of investment can come three, four, five, or six years later, as you know, in real estate projects. Uh, uh, some uh, regional centers will guarantee uh, your money back after three years, but they don't guarantee a profit. Other uh, regional centers will uh, will tell you that you are likely to make a profit, but the profit will be a small one. Mm -hmm. uh, it, um, other other centers will tell you that the profit will be a higher profit, but it's a greater risk. Mm -hmm. So this is why it's important for the investor, the potential investor, to do his or her own investigation of the regional center. Uh, much of the information is available on the net, but the evaluations and the appraisals of the regional centers are not available. Uh, that's, that's why there's a whole industry of accountants and economists have developed to evaluate the success, the likelihood of success of the, of, of the regional centers. Okay. Let's talk about the timeline. Mm -hmm. Let's say um, uh, a person is interested in applying EB-5, mm -hmm. okay? So they come to you. Okay. What is the timeline?